Hey there. Welcome back to another one of my videos. This is one I've been really excited to put together since I launched the SBR at long range video a couple of weeks ago. We've all heard it said, 308, it's an 800 yard caliber at best, it falls on its face, there's much better choices out there, 6.5 Creedmoor, whatever. We've probably said it ourselves, I know you've read it online, I know you've heard people at the range say it, but what I wanna do is take a rifle, take some distance, and see what actually happens out there. So to test this out, I've got a Knight's Armament, SR25 ECC, running the Geisley SDE trigger in it, Surefire 762 SOCOM Mini Suppressor. I've had this set up for years. I've got several thousand rounds on it. It's a great shooter. Is it a tack driver? No. Is it a battle rifle? Yes. And do I believe it'll get the job done out here? Yes. The scope is a 4 to 16 attacker from Night Force with a Tremor 3 reticle and a spur mount. And the load I'm shooting is a 168 SMK over Varget powder. It's running 2570 out of the muzzle. So it's not screaming by any means, but it's fast enough to get the job done. According to the ballistic calculator, this load's going to be going subsonic before it gets out there to that thousand yard target that I've put out. So we'll see what happens when we get out that far. As far as what we're going to shoot, I'm going to put it on paper at 100 yards. I think we'll put 10 rounds there. And then I've got a two thirds Ipsic at 477. We'll put 10 rounds. I've got a two-thirds Ipsic at 790, we'll put 10 rounds. And then I've got a full-size Ipsic at 1020 that we'll put 10 rounds on. And I'm gonna try to get you looking through my binoculars so that you can maybe see some trays, see some impacts. We're gonna have hit indicator lights on the furthest two targets. And I'm gonna run the GoPro out there so you can see those up close. But I can't wait to see what happens. We've all heard it said, let's test it out. But before we do, I wanna call attention to Madison Armament. That's who I'm partnered with here on the channel. Make sure to check them out. I'll put a link in the description. If you use the promo code mustache, just like I've got, you'll get 10% off of your order. So without further ado, let's hit the range and do some shooting. Put in the comments, do you think we're gonna get out to a thousand yards plus with this rifle? I think it's a long shot for a 16 inch 308 shooting a 168 SMK, but let's give it a go. We're here at a hundred yards with the SR25. I've got a fresh sheet of paper down range. I'm gonna put 10 rounds through it see what the group looks like, show you what the zero looks like, and then we'll move out to steel. So Mirage is pretty bad right now, but I'll give it my best. We'll see what it looks like. Man, that was tough shooting. My first round flew to the upper left, and then the other nine are decent, probably inch and a half, but very well centered. I'll walk you down and show you. Here we are walking up to the target at 100 yards. I just shot with my SR25 ECC. You can see the 10 rounds are pretty centralized on the dot. That upper left round was my first round, very possible it was me, rifle, not sure, whatever. I'm gonna exclude that from my measurements. If we look at the bulk of the group, the width of it, I'm gonna call that inch and a Order. And if we look at the height of the main part of the group, inch and a half. But eight of the ten rounds are pretty centralized around the dot, so we're not going to drive tacks with that, but it'll do just what we need it to do on steel out to hopefully a thousand yards or so on Ipsic sized targets. So let's move out, shoot some steel, and I'll show you what we can do. 477 on a two thirds Ipsic. I'm going to hold up 3.2. There's a little bit of left to right mirage out there, so I'm gonna favor left edge, maybe three tenths to the left. 10 rounds, let's see if we can make some hits. All right. Impact, dead center. Impact. Impact. Off the right edge. Impact. Wind's picking up a little bit. 
right, I'm gonna go to a half mil wind hold to the left. Impact. 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 Nine for ten at four seventy seven on a two thirds zip stick. Pretty easy. Let's move that to seven. 90, I think it is. We'll give it a go there. Next up, two-thirds Zipsic at 790. It's the black target that's in the other camera. I've got 10 rounds. There's a hit indicator light on it. I'm going to hold eight mils of elevation. I'm going to favor to the left. There's still a bit of a left to right wind. I'm thinking about a mil, which is kind of between the four and the eight mile an hour wind dot in the trimmer three. So I'm going to start with that one mil left hold. Ooh, high and left. All right. I'm going to cut my wind back to the four mile an hour dot. Impact, left edge. Let's cut it back to 0.6. Impact. 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 Ooh, off the left edge. So the first round missed, then the last round missed, but otherwise eight impacts, 790. Next up, let's try, uh, I got a target out of 1,017 full-size Ipsic. All right, I'm gonna try to get a range so you can see our target here, so. Ten twenty. Here we are at ten twenty. Ten rounds loaded up, full size Ipsic. I've got a hit indicator light on the plate, so we should be able to see our hits. I got the GoPro down there as well. I've dialed up thirteen mils. The wind it feels extremely calm, and if anything, it's coming from my back. So I'm actually going to hold dead center on this first round and see what happens. Off the left edge. I need to come to the right. I'm going to go 0 0.8. Impact. Second round. Impact. Impact. Ooh, off the right edge a little bit. I'm gonna come up a tenth. All right, 0.7 on the wind. Off the left edge, go back to 0.8. Impact, point eight again. Impact. Impact. 
impact. Impact. That's 1,020 yards with a 16-inch battle rifle shooting 168 SMKs. Those rounds, according to my calculator, are subsonic out there. And I think we just made, we either went 7 or 8 for 10. So very good hit ratio with this little package out there at that distance. It's the little round that could. So I ran down to move my target that I had at 1020. I'm going to push that out. I'm going to try for 1150 since we had such a good hit percentage here. But just want to give you a look at what the hits actually look like up close. So here we are, 7 for 10, 1020. I'm going to move it out further. So I was thinking I was going to wrap the video up after shooting 1,020 yards. But given the large number of hits we had on the plate and I've got rounds left, I decided to push that full-size Ipsy just a little bit further out. So I just moved it out to 1,130 yards. I've got 10 rounds of 168 SMKs loaded up. And as mentioned previously, they're definitely transitioning into that subsonic zone at this distance. So let's send 10 rounds out there and see if we can connect. I've got the light on it. I've got the GoPro running and I've got another camera in the spotter. So hopefully we can make some hits at 1135. I'm dialed up 16.1 mils for this 1130 yard shot. I can see Mirage moving left to right down there. I can see my flag pushing that way as well. I'm gonna favor one mil left with my first round. So here we go, 10 rounds, 1135. Come to the right. Mill. Gonna hold that again. Impact. Oh, just off the left edge. I'm gonna cut back to one eight. Off the left edge, I'm going to cut back to 1.75. Off the left edge, go to 1.5. Left edge. So we got quite a few hits out there out of 10. I think that was maybe five hits out of 10. I'll have to review the footage, but still very capable at 1135 yards. All right, I don't know about you, but I found that really, really interesting. We were able to take this 308 AR shooting the 168 Sierra Match King much further than I expected. We've all heard that 800 yard number thrown around as the max effective distance. And I believe today we showed it's capable much further than that, depending on conditions and shooter and ammo and load and all kinds of things. So in review, 16 inch SR25 ECC 168 SMK. That middle target we put at 477 yards and I believe we went nine for 10. It was no problem hitting that plate, even had a first round hit. So a little bit of wind, no problem. That's a two thirds Ipsic, so it's reduced down a little bit. But again, no problem for this rifle in this package. Then we moved out on the black plate to 790 yards. That's right at that number that many people say is the max effective distance of a package like this. We went eight for 10 on a reduced size target and a little bit of wind. Really, really great performance. Then we moved out on this large white target at 1,020. And again, we had great performance. We went seven out of 10 at 1,020. 
And remember, that's where this load and this round is starting to go subsonic or transonic into subsonic out of this package. So as it starts to do that, it kind of loses stability and your accuracy drops off a little bit. But still, seven out of 10 on a full size IPSC at 1,020 out of this package, I would say is awesome. I had rounds left, you just watched, we moved out to 1,130 yards. We put four out of 10 on this exact same plate. So while not great performance, still in my mind, quite effective. My challenge there was the wind. You saw my hits were early on in that string. And as I shot, the wind started dying off and I wasn't catching it. So you can see as I pushed out to that extended distance, I wasn't on top of my wind call. That's where I think this package starts to lack. It makes it really, really important to watch the wind and keep up with it in order to make hits. So in my mind, is this rifle effective out to 800 yards? 100%, we show that, very effective. Is it effective beyond that? Again, I would say 100% it is. I'd say out to 1,000 yards in a DMR type roll, very effective, great package for that. So I'm curious, drop in the comments, what's your longest hit with a 308 rifle? Do you think I could have stretched further than 1,130? Do you think I'm crazy trying to shoot this package that far? I'd love to hear it. Also, if you really like this content, I'd appreciate it if you would like it and share it with your friends. I'm trying to grow this channel, and the more people that are aware, the more I can do. So if you enjoyed it, please share it, drop a comment, let me know. I hope you join me in my next video because I've got some really cool stuff coming up. Thank you.